Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nerku, aka XXBS Spotter 69XX, back again for another dose of politically correct hepatitis D. That's hepatitis D's nuts, in case you were wondering. Anyways, I was on Twitter and I ran across what looked like an interesting story, and I thought I'd let you guys know what's up. Today's article comes from NewYorkDailyNews.com and is titled Restaurant Under Fire for Using Pre Post Transition Photos of Caitlyn Jenner for Bathroom Signs. In case you guys are wondering what I'm talking about, apparently a Dallas restaurant is in trouble for having pictures of Bruce Jenner pre-boob job and post-boob job, if you know what I'm saying, as signifiers of gender choice. If you guys are wondering what these signs look like, here is the visual evidence from Twitter, from the Twitter post that I saw. So if you look on the left side or the lady side for the non-penis wielders, or uh, if I may call it if you so prefer the term roast beef curtain possessors only. And the one on the right side is for the traditional samurai of the sausage wielders. So this is distinguished by the photos of Bruce um, <coughs> Caitlyn Jenner in his original form and his final form. But let's be real here. No one knows if this is going to be his slash her slash its final form, because if you know what I mean, like he, she, shim, zim, it's got, you know, just got its penis removed not too long ago and was calling itself a woman post boo job, but pre sausage removal, if you know what I'm getting at. Anyways, I thought I'd go ahead and read the highlight reel of the article to go ahead and give you guys my thoughts and my opinion on it. You know, your boy got to let you know what's up. Let's go ahead and get into it. The owner of a Texas eatery is being called transphobic for photos of Caitlyn Jenner covering the bathroom doors in his establishment. It began with a Facebook post from Dodie's Place Cajun Bar and Grill in August, boasting about the newest members of Dodie's crew. Accompanying the post was a photo of the restroom doors covered in photos of Jenner pre and post transition. The woman's bathroom featured a photo of Jenner, 68, on the cover of Vanity Fair. The door on the men's facilities was adorned with a picture of the former athlete, at the 1976 Summer Olympics before she came out as transgender. Hold up, hold up, hold up, wait, wait. You mean to tell me that there's no non-binary bathroom? What if I don't identify as either forms of Mr. slash Mrs. Jenner? I'm gonna throw a huge fit, man. Like, I mean, let's be real here. Y'all need to go ahead and get this stuff in order. We need to have a male bathroom, a female bathroom, a non-binary bathroom, and all the other genders need their bathrooms too, if you know what I'm saying. This is some real gender phobic BS right here, man, if I do say so myself. But I'ma go ahead and I'ma let it go. Let's go ahead and get back to the remaining part of the article, okay? Although the photos have been covering the restroom doors at Doty's for several months, the controversy really didn't pick up any steam until Dallas Morning News reporter Dom DeFurio? De De shared a photo of them on Twitter on October 30th. If you guys read the rest of the article, it goes ahead and it continues and mentions how bad it is to be homophobic, transphobic, misogynistic, and the same SJW BS that you always hear. But I did gain some valuable insight from the last paragraph I read to you. Apparently, this all stemmed from Dom DeFurio. <laughs> DeFurio? Huh? Huh? DeFurio? Sorry. Anyways, his Twitter and, and his Twitter account. And if you want some extra entertainment, I definitely suggest going over there and looking at the uh, the dumpster fire that is his Twitter account. But um, so many people are mad about his tweet um, or about the tweet. And so many people are up in flames about what's going on at the restaurant. And I mean, I'm not mad about it, but I'm not stupid enough to like call out Texas, you know, of all places. Texas. I mean, it's clearly a joke and joke or not, the owner of the restaurant is technically entitled to have an opinion, just like with any other person, whether it's a popular opinion or not. Some may say that the joke is in poor taste and that's kind of where I disagree. I think it's in great taste, actually. It's pure savagery. It's absolutely creative. And I think it was a good way to kind of showcase the difference between genders. And while we're speaking about the difference in genders, if people want us to accept transgender people as the gender that they claim to be isn't putting a picture of Caitlyn Jenner on the woman's bathroom accepting Caitlyn Jenner as a woman <clears throat> Bruce if and and then the thing is what I don't get here is that people are actually really getting offended by the pictures I mean people want to get offended about them I say go ahead and let them 
the restaurant's owner is a businessman when you think about it if this negatively starts to impact his business maybe his sales go down because of it then that's his choice people really need to learn how to start voting with their wallets instead of voting on twitter and but instead you know sjw's nowadays hashtag millennials it's just more easy and more convenient to rant and rave on twitter and over the internet and start a social movement on everything it's crazy to me to think that there are so many brainwashed people in the world that they can't even think for themselves. Actually, that's kind of like the entire purpose of my channel, right? But hey, you know, there is a bright side. There were a few people, and the article does touch on this, who defended the restaurant owner after all, you know, after all of was said and done. But hey, it's Texas, you know what I mean? Like people down there just really don't give a fuck, am I right? I think it is time to go and explore the comments a little bit. Keep in mind that this is an absolute gold mine. If you guys love getting a quick laugh or you need some entertainment, I suggest go ahead and going over there for yourself and checking it out. All right. So the first comment comes from Patrick Pernall and uh, he says, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Clearly Jenner identified himself as a man on the right. And now she identifies herself as a woman. Well, you know what? We're all just as confused as he, she is as well. So, yeah, you're not alone, Patrick. There's people out there who understand you and who are there to help you and to help you through this confusion. Hopefully, you know, we get some clarity real soon because I don't have that. From Stuart Murhead, outrage? Question mark, laughing till I'm crying emoji. If someone had tweeted these pictures praising them for supporting trans visibility, then you probably would have written a puff piece about it. For sure, Stuart, that is an ass dude observation there mr stewart and um yeah that's pretty much how the left works they can twist anything around and make it you know negative or make it um look really bad for us regular people who you know actually think things through they like to manipulate their audiences and and i'm not gonna get too much on the left here but the right does it as well like the far far right does it as well so you know they they ain't too much better tarthiest wrecked that's f***ing hilarious yes it is tarthiest thank you for pointing that out it's a joke, and honestly, it's not that bad of one. I mean, like, it's a men's room and a woman's washroom. Does, doesn't does he identify as a woman? <laughs> doesn't he identify as a woman? See, um, Tarthias, you're going to, I'm going to go ahead and move you over to the confused people category. Um, hopefully, Lacey Green can go ahead and fix this all for us and kind of help us better understand exactly what's going on here and why we should be offended as well. Tarthias, you should be offended. Oh my gosh, this is classic. Um, so since we just came out of Halloween, there are several um, pictures still of people's Halloween costume. And uh, this is definitely like the cream of the crop as far as Halloween costumes go. He is a millennial and as such, he is covered in bubble wrap because he's fragile and he's wearing a hat that says, I'm offended. Yes, our generation, uh, us millennials. We are all very, very easily offended, and I don't know what the problem is. I don't know where everything went wrong. Was it the cartoons? Was it too many fruit roll-ups? I have no idea, but God help us. Can a hashtag transgender person explain to me why this is hashtag transphobic? I legitimately don't understand. Bruce equals man, Caitlin equals woman, hashtag LGBTQ. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. The pictures clearly point out which gender is which, and if we wanted to accept Caitlyn as a woman, then Caitlyn is a woman on the picture. Jesus, what's the problem? Doesn't the hashtag LGBTQ community work for the rights of people to be recognized as the gender they are? Not trying to be rude, I just don't understand. Exactly. This entire conversation or the entire comment section is just going to be filled with people who are very confused about this. And I think that's partially the reason why, you know, we have such a hard time with transgenderism and things like that because it's so freaking confusing and then there's the gender pronouns and then there's you know you can be a woman and still have a dick like oh my gosh let's move on awesome i want to go there see there's going to be people especially people who have a really good sense of humor who are going to take a look at the entire situation and then say you know what now i want to go see this in person or now i want to go there so i think that you know on the other hand, end of people voting with their wallets and not going because they're offended, there's going to be people who are voting with their wallets and definitely going because they're not offended and they actually like comedy, you know, or actually have a good sense of humor. This is the death of comedy, people, and I'm going to go ahead and say it right now. Ooh, it's November 4th. Isn't something bad supposed to happen today? It's November the 4th. Something bad supposed to happen today. Regardless, it's not going to happen. Power outage. 
people are going to be dying in the streets, whatever. It's not happening, but this is the death of a comedy and it's been marked since, I don't know, 2014, 2015 is when this all, all this crap started. And now we're really just getting into the, just the icing of it. It's just the, just the meat of what's going on here. So I told you guys as of November 4th, 2017, comedy is dying. So I'm here to try to keep it alive. <laughs> okay. So next comment. So only men are in wheelchairs. So we got someone who's clearly triggered about the situation that men are only allowed in wheelchairs. That's going to be the bathroom on the right for you guys. And women are okay to, to stand up. Um, men are only good for wheelchairs. Okay. Um, I think that's all the time we have for today. Remember to go ahead and tongue punch that like button for me. If you're new here and you somehow like abuse, why not go ahead and subscribe? And if you're mad about them not having a non-binary bathroom, just like me, go ahead and comment down below. If you're transgender, trap gender, or just plain confused, go ahead and fist that thumbs down button. Hit me with an angry comment on how I'm stupid or insensitive, and then go ahead and share that video with another confused soul just like yourself. Y'all know it don't matter to me anyway because y'all got hepatitis D, okay? So whatever. Anyways, guys, I'm Neriku, aka XXBS Spotter 69XX, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. This is my game. This is my game. Finding the strange. Exposing the man. Apple lovers be wet. Maybe they stay over there. These boys are insane. This is my game. Oh.